welcome back. It's Dr. Jen Ferboni, better known as Dr. Jen Fit, here with my bestie Moshkan. And she's going to be demonstrating the exercise so that it's not just about a modification for pregnancy, but it's actually for everyone keeping that pain out of your back while you're doing goblet squats. This is a really popular one. So first of all, Moshkan's going to demonstrate what happens a lot with a goblet squat. So people might hold it up, but we have been traditionally taught with squats that we really need to stick that booty out and barely let the knees go over the toes, right? Well, even if she bent her knees more and she did the squat, keep the chest up because you have to keep the chest up, right? And then come up into it and do a couple of those. <laughs> You can see how much arch she has in your back. The more you have to arch into your back, the more you're turning on those back muscles, which isn't bad. However, we're overloading those lumbar muscles. We're overloading that low back. Now, there's a couple reasons why this could be happening. One, we just learned an improper way to move. Or two, we really are restricted in our ankles. So we'll go over both. Now, in the first one, we really want to say, let's what's our setup? What's our form? And when we grab the weight, whether it is a dumbbell or a kettlebell, we really want to make sure we're holding into it. So she's going to pull those elbows down. Okay. This is going to help to engage in the lats and then automatically it drops that rib cage. So that drop of the rib cage automatically stacks over that pelvis. And then when she squats, a squat is not a hinge. It's not a deadlift. So the knees are going to bend and open as she comes down and then she comes right back up. Okay. And this is still, go ahead, go again. It's still loading the spine because we continue to stay in a neutral position, but it's a lot more core focused, quad focused as well. So we're using our legs a lot more rather than putting all the pressure into the back. So the main thing we want to be able to do here, breathe in as we go down, really hugging that, that uh, weight and then breathe out and use that core to engage as you come up. Now, if the ankles are what are restricting us, then we can just elevate those heels. So we're going to take two little weights here so that she can put her heels up onto the weights. She's going to do that same good hold. Now her knees have a lot more room to come forward. She's going to think of dropping that tailbone straight down and then breathe out, press through the heels as she comes up. This is going to engage a lot more core quads and glutes because we're still pressing and focusing through the heels. And what you'll notice in the back, though it stays nice and neutral, there's not a lot of torque or tension. So especially if your low back is the thing that you want to take out of the picture, elevate your heels so that you can get a little bit straighter of a spine so you can press through those heels, use your quads, use your core to help engage better in that goblet squat and keep the tension and pressure out of that low back. Don't forget, if you love what you're learning, I have so much more in stock for you. So hit that subscribe button, check out the other videos I've done in the past, and leave any comments of any suggestions that you have for videos in the future. And I can't wait to help you feel incredible and amazing within your body.